What's up YouTube? It's Andrew from Preeminent Designs HD and today I'm coming at you guys with an After Effects tutorial. Now today in After Effects I'll be showing you guys how to make a simple but realistic typing effect with a blinking cursor. Now in this tutorial this effect is used in a lot of other videos on YouTube such as montages and intros and I thought I'd bring this to the table for you guys. So guys let's just check out what we're going to be making. So if we just hit our RAM preview button all right, so it basically just types it out with a blinking cursor. Watch one more time. All right. So guys, let's just hop right into it. So let's go over to our composition, new composition. And we're just going to name this composition name tutorial. And then you guys can check whatever width and height you guys want. I'm just going to be using 1280 by 720. And my frame rate is set to 59.94. Alright, so now our duration is going to be 10 seconds. You guys can play around with it, whatever you guys want. And in my background color, I'm just going to leave it black. Alright, so now we have a black screen here. We're going to come over to our layer, new, solid. And we're just going to lay down some color. It's not going to be the color we're going to be using, so don't worry. And now we're just going to come up here to effect, generate, and ramp. And now we have this black to gray to white and we're just going to come over here to the attributes and we're going to go to ramp shape and select it to radial ramp now we have the black sphere going into the white and we're just going to select our black color and we're just going to pick a neutral blue you guys can pick really whatever color you want I just like the color blue and we're going to select the white to a kind of gray color like so alright so now that we have a background in place we're just going to place our text by coming up here to the text tool and just select wherever you guys want alright so now you guys just place whatever text you guys want I'm just gonna name mine tutorial and if you guys want the same font I'm using it is from defont.com it's called alternate gothic 2 BT it's a very nice font I use it on a lot of my applications and stuff like that so if you guys want to go over to defont real quick go download it and it's awesome um, I will throw in a little link in the description for you guys to go download that at no cost to you guys at all so yeah alright guys so now is what we're going to do is we're gonna come down here to the tutorial and we're just going to drop down the menu here and we're just gonna go into the text menu and now is what we want to do is we want to go to animate opacity alright so selecting the opacity button it's gonna add an animator one menu in here and we're just gonna open up the range selector real quick and now is what we want to do is we want to take our opacity and we're just gonna turn that all the way down to zero now open up the advanced menu right under offset and go down to smoothness and we want to turn that all the way down to zero as well alright so now is what we want to do is we don't have our text in there anymore but don't worry we'll be getting it back here shortly and we just want to come over to our timeline and uh, select wherever we want it to start typing so I'm gonna have mine start typing at about one second and we're just gonna come over here to offset and we're just gonna hit that little stopwatch which is gonna give us a keyframe and then you want to drag your timeline to whenever you want it to stop typing and have it all appear. So I'm going to have mine appear at about um, a second and a half. And we're just going to turn all our opacity offset all the way up to 100%. And as you guys see, we have a simple typing effect right there. Now to get our cursor, it's pretty simple. It's not too hard. We're just going to come over here and we're just going to close our animator one. And we're just going to come over here to our tutorial again and go to animate uh, opacity and it's going to give us an animator 2 and it's what we're going to come over here is on the animator 2 you want to go to add property character value and now that we have our character value is what we can do is we can also open up the range selector 1 again and we want to set the opacity uh, sorry not the opacity you want to open up the advanced and turn down the smoothness down to zero as well alright so now is what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get this out of the way we're gonna change our end to about two percent alright so now nothing's there and then is what we want to do is we can actually change this back to 100 percent for the time being so we can see our text and see what we're gonna be doing here right here now if you scroll down you're gonna see character value and if we just scroll this you see a bunch of numbers or weird things going on to your text now if we scroll all the way up into the 100s you will see
this. At 124, you guys are going to see these dashes. Now, as what these dashes are going to do is it's going to basically give us our cursor effect. So now is what we want to do is we want to come up here to end, and we just want to type in about 3%. All right. So now that we have that, now that you see it hasn't done anything yet. Now is what we have to do is we have to make it start when the text starts. So we want to go to whenever we made the text start typing, which I had it at one second. And then it is what we want to come over here, and we just want to keyframe our offset by ticking it stop watch again, and then go to a second and a half where it ended, and just make this go to 100%. So now, if we just hit our RAM preview, now we have the same typing effect that you saw at the beginning. Now there are some things you guys can play around with, as so the end. Um, depending on what you made, you don't want to see the cursor like this at the beginning of your video. So 9% is obviously too big for me, but 5% is good. So as what we can do is we can hit that, and as we see, it looks a little bit more realistic. It's kind of ahead of it, and it's giving some time for the letters to catch up as well. So if we just watch that one more time, and now we have a simple real-time typing effect with the blinking cursor. All right, guys. So if this tutorial helped you guys out, please drop a comment in the comment sections below, leaving you guys' feedback. And if you guys would, hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out a lot, and it keeps these tutorials coming, guys. If you guys have any ideas for the future After Effects tutorials, leave it in the comment sections below as well. Or you can PM me, or I do have a Twitter or Facebook account, so you guys can always write on those as well. All right, guys. Well, until next time, my name's Andrew, or Preeminent Designs HD, and I make quality GFX for free and I make your visions a reality.